Hi friends, let's see our next hacker rank problem, find digits. So, the difficulty level of this problem is easy and the max score allocated for this problem is 25 points. Now, let's see the problem statement. So the problem statement is an integer d is a divisor of an integer n if the remainder of n divided by d is 0. Okay. Given an integer for each digit that makes up the integer determine whether it is a divisor and count the number of divisors occurring within the given integer. Okay. So let's see this example and understand the problem statement. So here an integer n is given which is equals to 124 okay now here the individual numbers in the given integer are 1 2 and 4 okay so now we need to check whether the individual numbers in the given integer that means 1 2 and 4 are divisors of the given integer 124 okay so since the all the three numbers that means 1 2 and 4 divides evenly into 124 so we need to return the count as 3 okay so in the next example the given integer is triple one okay so here the individual numbers in the given string are one one and one okay now we need to check whether these are divisors okay so since all the individual numbers are evenly divides into the given integer so we need to return as three okay so this particular example can even be better explained here so let me open the simple notepad here yeah so this example can be even better explained so here in the given example the given number or the given integer is 1012 okay so in the given integer the individual numbers are 1012 okay so here let me take it as a string okay so i have written that individual numbers in the given string are okay so even it is a number also there is no problem so in the given number the individual numbers are 1 0 1 and 2 now i need to check whether the indiv how many individual numbers are divisors okay so in order to find that one the condition is we need to check that means we need to divide the given integer with the individual numbers if the remainder is 0 then it is going to be a divisor and we need to return the count of number of divisors okay so in the first case so the given integer divided by the individual number one okay since one zero one two is divided by that means it is evenly divided by one so the output is the remainder is since the remainder is zero so this is a divisor okay and in the next case one zero one two divided by zero which is undefined so this is not going to be a divisor and then 1012 divided by the third individual number 1 okay so it leaves the remainder as 0 so it is a divisor and the last one is 1012 divided by the number 2 so since the remainder is 0 so it is going to be a divisor okay so here how many we need to count that means we need to count the number of divisors the number of divisors are nothing but simply which leaves the remainder as 0 okay so here there are three individual numbers that leaves the remainder as 0 okay 1 2 and 3 so the answer is going to be 3 okay now let's go back to the problem so now how we are going so this is the problem statement now let's see how we are going to solve this particular problem okay so what is the approach to solve this problem so my approach is generally it is very simple so what I'm going to do here so generally we can't split the number so my approach is like so I'm going to convert this particular number to a string and then I'm going to split the given string okay now let me open the editor okay I am choosing the long ways as JavaScript Node.js and let me open the side by side view parallelly yeah now 
let's console log the given input and check okay here we need to uh, check one more parameter along with the given argument n and followed by type of n okay so we need to check whether it is a string or a number which format it is given yeah. so it is in the number format okay as i told earlier we can't split the number directly so what i'm doing here okay yeah let me open this now let me take a variable str which is equals to i am converting this particular number to the string okay so n dot to string i am using the javascript default to string method okay so basically this uh, to string will convert the number to a string okay now what i am doing i am going to split this one let me take arr as another variable okay so i am going to split this one okay so now better before splitting this one let's console log and check how the string is going to be okay since i have converted it to a string okay type of str okay so now let me console log the str variable and the type of this str variable okay okay earlier it was 10 which is in the number format now it was converted to a string format okay okay now how i'm going to do let me console log each and every step and you can show so it will be very much easier for you to understand now i have converted the given number into a string okay now what i'm going to do let me take another variable a r okay i am going to split okay so str dot split i'm going to split here split this one now let me again console log of a r r okay and then type of a r r okay in the other let me console log this and see what is going to happen because i have split it now yeah see earlier it is in a string format now i have split it this one okay i have split it individual so that why i am splitting this one i am splitting this one because i need to get the individual element i need to split the given integer into individual elements so that i am using the split method okay so since the type is array so in javascript the type of array is object so it will be written the type as object okay now let me go back to the pro code back yeah now what i'm going to do here okay almost it done the 60 percent of the problem is completed now let me write a simple for loop i is equals to zero i is less than a r r dot length i plus plus yeah here we need to take a very simple thing we need to consider because we need to return the count so at the very beginning let me take the count as zero first okay finally i need to return the count so i need i am just initially i am setting a variable to count as zero okay now if okay suppose if the given number n okay divided by now actually here it was a see it was in a string format okay so directly we can't we can't get a proper result if you are dividing the given integer with a string okay so now what i'm going to do i'm using the javascript number method to convert the given string into a number okay number of array of i okay which is equals to zero in that case i'm increasing the count that's all our job is done okay so let me explain one more time so since i need to return the number of divisors okay that means i need to return the count so i am taking the count as zero okay now since we can't split the number i am converting it to a string okay so i am converting the given number to a string now i am going to split the given string okay since i need to because as per the problem statement i need to find the number of divisors okay that means in order to find the number of divisors i need to find 
the number of devices that means the individual elements or the individual numbers how many individual numbers in the given integer or devices in order which leaves the remainder as zero so i am going to split this one and then i am applying the basic condition in order to check whether it is divisible by the given number or not okay now simply i am returning the count okay that's all so this is a very simple solution for the given problem and let me run the code and check the result yeah the basic test case is passed now let me submit the code and test for other cases yeah all that given test cases are passed and I have earned 25 points okay friends let's meet in the next lecture thank you bye